Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video from Education Solutions. My name is John, and in today's clip, I'm going to show all of the teachers out there who are using Google Classroom, how you can combine Google Classroom with Grammarly, and then grade your writing assignments very quickly here. So uh, this is again for people who are using Google Classroom. But what you'll do first is you'll open up your assignment here. I'm assuming that you already know how to use Google Classroom. Um, but uh, once we have our assignment here, uh, you can see that normally what you would do is you would grade this within Google Classroom. But if you look right over here, just below the turned in sign right here, there's a folder here. And this folder is going to allow you to open up all of the, uh, the files inside of your Google Docs. And sorry, inside of Google Drive. So we'll open this part up here. And we can see all of my students that have turned it in. And what I will do, first of all, is I'm going to go through and I'm going to open up 10 of these. So I'll have 10 Google Docs that are open one by one here. Now, for this video in particular, I'm just going to have four of them available. But I've got my, uh, let's say we've got 10 of them that, that's open. And I'll go to my very first one here. OK, and I've, blank, I've uh, blanked out my students' names here. Uh, and uh, I can see, first of all, that they, this person, uh, this student actually did what was expected of them. They were supposed to highlight the topic sentence in, the, uh, in one color and then the um, supporting details in another and then the concluding sentence in uh, a third different color. So they did actually do what I was asking them to do. Now what you'll need to do is come over here. I think it starts off as editing, but you'll need to switch it to suggesting so that they can see the comments that you make on this. Okay, so as I am kind of uh, running through this here, I can kind of scan this, uh, make sure that the student actually did a good job. And what Grammarly is going to do, there we go. So Grammarly is going to pick up some possible changes that you might want to do. Okay, there's another mistake right there. Really minor mistakes right here that I can see so far. Okay, so I've just got a few things that they would want to change. There's some spaces that need to be done, but overall a pretty good job. Now, uh, so I've got my, my track changes right here. Now I'll come up here and I can see that my student did a pretty good job. So I'd give them a, probably an eight out of 10. This assignment, particular assignment was worth 10 points. Now down here in the bottom, we've got our uh, Grammarly suggestions. So there's actually 14 other suggestions that I could do, but I'm not gonna go that uh, far that much into detail with um, with this student here, but there's also a new part that's called Grammarly Go. So you can actually, I'm going to say in this one here, make it short and to the point. Give the student feedback about how to improve their writing assignment, but also praise the student for completing the assignment. So let's see what kind of feedback Grammarly is going to give me. Great job on completing your writing assignment. Uh, your writing shows potential, but there's room for improvement to make your writing stronger. Try to focus on developing your ideas more fully and provide more specific examples. Keep up the good work, though. Now, let's say that I actually like that. I want to give my student that kind of feedback. I can click on Insert, and right now I've got some feedback that I can give to my student. Um, I could also say to rephrase this one if I wanted to, um, if, you, if you don't really think that that's, um, that's exactly what you want. Uh, you could even say, uh, make it shorter. And so you can, you can um, get, there we go, good job on your writing, be more specific and provide examples. Okay, you can even tell it to shorten it, make it more assertive. So here's how you can go through and quickly uh, assess your student by scanning the student's writing, making sure that he or she did the uh, assignment properly, and then use Grammarly to quickly make those changes and track the changes as well. And then as soon as you do that, you'll flip over to your next student. And like I said, I have 10 of these open. So then I would run through these, make sure it's suggesting right here. Okay, so I've got my track changes. As I'm reading here, I'm kind of scanning through. They started to do this one. Okay, not too bad. All right, so I got a few different track changes right there. But overall, it's not too bad. They didn't quite complete the assignment to the point where I wanted them to do uh, exactly how they want them to do it. So I'll put in my, again, make it short and to the point on how to complete the assignment here. Again, I just want them to make it shorter. Or I want Grammarly to make it shorter here. Good job on your writing assignment for adding more detail. Okay, good. And you can even tell them to rephrase that thing as well if you really wanted to. So if I, oh, they did actually do it, I'm sorry. 
they I didn't even see it went all the way down to the bottom. Okay, so this student did in fact do that one. So uh, again, that would be probably about an eight out of ten. I would need to go back and and reread that one. So I could insert my feedback right there, and then I pop over to the next one. So you go through the, your entire class, and you can do this very quickly here. And what we're going to do is, if we flip back to Google Classroom, all of these changes are going to be saved in Google Classroom. So now when you're ready to go through and give your students a grade, a final grade here, I can see that I've now got 8 out of 10. Uh, I've got my suggested changes right here for my student, and uh, I've got my feedback as well. So that is um, exactly how, and then let's say, that this one actually comes up as being blank, but I've got my 8 out of 10 right here. So pop that in there, and then you can flip over to the next one. So you will have graded everybody, and now you can just put in the final score, and then you can return everybody's grade once you're all done here. Okay, so um, that is exactly how I grade all of my assignments. Um, it saves you a ton of time, really. And it makes it um, makes your grading process quite efficient here as well. So if you have any ways that you uh, maybe you have some questions about how how to use Google Classroom along with Grammarly, please do put those in the comments down below. Or maybe perhaps you have some comments about how you like to use Grammarly. Please let me know. But be sure to subscribe to Education Solutions and don't forget to like and subscribe as well. I will see you all in the next video. Adios.